Welcome back to the Engineered Angler. I'm back in the shop. It's raining again. And uh, I did do some fishing over the weekend. I went out on the Gulf of Mexico with a buddy of mine who's, uh, who does a little bit of, of guiding. He didn't do much this time, though. I'm just, just saying. Anyway, we went out and spent a whole day, beautiful day on the water. Uh, it was just, it was really nice to be out there, but basically got skunked. Uh, so we're back here working on this. This is the driftwood uh, lure design that we started on on the last video, the number one video. At the end of the last video, I left this lure on the lathe. It was just shaped, that's all. And I hadn't really marked it for all the different components. So I came back to the dry erase board and I completed the shape as best I could. It's not perfectly symmetric, but it'll do for this. I don't generally do the full drawing, uh, but I was able to go ahead and uh, sort of sketch in the lip location, the eye socket location, and the weight location. And then I went ahead and pulled some dimensions. Of course, this is a four to one scale. I shrunk that scale just like last time. Went over to the uh, lathe and marked them out. If you haven't seen me do all this on the lathe. I did do a complete video on doing all this kind of uh, marking and cutting and cutting that slot on the lathe. You should watch it. I'll put the link up here somewhere, one of these spots. It'll be up there. You should go check it out. Uh, I also went ahead and drilled the holes that I could drill while I was at it. Now, you'll notice most conspicuously uh, the fact that I went ahead and uh, clad it in aluminum. And this is also a technique that I came up with like uh, like a three weeks ago or so, maybe a month ago, uh, using foil and a pair of scissors to cut this scallop shape. Uh, I also made a video of it, so if you haven't seen that, you should definitely check it out. It's pretty easy to do, uh, and it's pretty dramatic result. While I was out in the golf, I got inspired because we ran into this huge uh, school of Manhattan, uh, the green tops. They're really cool looking. They're really silvery, and they have like this real iridescent sort of green top with some black dots. I'll put a picture up here, and I want to go ahead and do my best to mimic that fish with this lure. Hopefully, I can get close. So stick around. The rest of this video will likely be just painting and maybe some subtitles to let you know what paints I'm using and the plan behind it. Okay, stick around. Uh, more painting to come. Okay, before we move on, I want to give you a closer look at the, um, the scales. As you can see, I did the whole body on this one. Not like uh, the first one I did, I had a seam along the top and along the bottom. And it, it came out pretty nice. But this one, what I did is I just did full wraps and I put a seam along the bottom. But then I alternated the cut so it sort of, it sort of hides the seam to the eye. Um, not sure how clear that's going to be.